We're always looking at the disease side of mental health. But in the past 10 years, there's been a movement called positive psychology. And in positive psychology, they start to look at, well, why are some people happy? What the heck is wrong with them? <laughs> what are they doing? And what they found is two characteristics, the first of which is forgiveness. People that are very happy tend to forgive. They tend to let go. My friend Leslie Charles wrote a book, Why Is Everyone So Cranky? And in that book, she said, your heart can either contain love or anger. It can't contain both. So you have to decide which one serves you the best. When I talk about forgiveness, I'm not just talking about forgiving other people. Sometimes, and maybe even more importantly, it's forgiving ourselves. I don't know about you, but I get caught up in the shoulds. I should be a better wife, I should be a better mother, I should be a better daughter. Should, 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 should. Sometimes I feel like saying, don't shit on me, you know, I'm done. <laughs> I can't do it. I think there's some real peace in life being able to say, you know what? Maybe I'm not perfect, I know I'm not perfect, but I did the best I could. And yeah, looking back from this age, I can see very clearly things I would have done differently. But when you're in the midst of it, it isn't so easy to see. So if you're one of those people that spend even a second a day beating yourself up about one issue or another, let it go. Let it go. And just accept you did the best you could and the people around you, for the most part, did too. Forgiveness. Let it go. The other habit of very happy people is gratitude. You know, we get caught up with all the things and possessions and McMansions, cars. You ever see that uh, commercial where the woman walks out on Christmas and there's a new Lexus with a bow on it? I'd kill my husband. <laughs> What'd you spend all that money for? Well, and part of the reason is I'm not a very good driver. Don't buy me a new car. <laughs> I back into things all the time. And you know what? When I back into things, my husband says the stupidest thing. He always says the same thing. Didn't you see it? <laughs> of course I didn't see it or I wouldn't have hit it. What a dumb thing to say. In fact, he feels so emphatically about my driving, he doesn't want me to use R. He says, just do the P, D, and N. You're very strong in those. Just stay away from R, not your strong suit. We never buy new cars. We did once. We bought a new car, drove it 150 miles. Some guy runs a stop sign, hits the side of it, smashes it. Next time, we got a new used car. I'm at a parking lot. Some guy backs into me. Now I'm to the point, we buy a used car, and I tell my husband, go out there with a sledgehammer and put a few dents in it, would you? Just saves me some time. We got a lot of advertising saying we need all this stuff. But in reality, did you know you all are in the upper 5% of income in the world? 95% of the people in the world live poorer than you. And when you look at that statistic, you start to think, you know what? I don't think I need more stuff. I mean, do we really need more stuff? Do you know the largest growing business in America is storage? Because now people have so much stuff, they got to get more places to put it. It's unbelievable. Do you ever watch those shows, by the way, the reality shows? You know, like the storage wars or uh, what's the other one where people are real slobby? Hoarders, yeah, I love hoarders. <laughs> Don't you? I mean, I'm very clear why I watch hoarders, because I, I look and I go, ha, huh, we're not that bad. <laughs> Our basement may be a mess, but look at theirs. I'm at a point in my life where I'm actually getting rid of stuff. Some of you maybe have reached this, where you start purging. 
because you realize, I mean, the more stuff you have, the more you have things you have to take care of. I really don't want anything. I'm getting rid of stuff. I've, I've gotten rid, rid of truckloads and truckloads of stuff. And I even put my husband's favorite chair out there, and he goes, what are you doing? I said, well, sit in it. They can take you, too. <laughs> Be grateful for what you have. The happiest people spend a little bit of time every day literally counting their blessings, counting what they're grateful for, their health, their family, their friends, living in this wonderful country. So what, that the government shut down? But <laughs> we still have opportunities here other people don't have. Spend a few minutes every day just being grateful. It'll change how you look at the world. It'll change how you view things.